불타오르네. 굿 모닝 클라스메이트. 굿 모닝 저시야. We are the Levy Group. And today we are going to show and demonstrate to you the basic construction of geometry. Before anything else, let me define what construction means. A construction uses a straight edge and a compass to make a geometric figures. In construction, we use a straight edge and a compass. A straight edge is a ruler with no markings. While compass is a geometric tool used to draw a circle and a part of circles called arc. A compass has two parts. One is the pencil point which draw a mark. And the other part is the compass point which makes a center and fix. Now, here are the Levy Group members who are going to show and demonstrate to you the basic construction of geometry. Let's get started. A straight edge and activity one, how to copy a line segment. Longer than line AB and labeling the left and point C. Step 2 Place your compass point at point A and open the compass until the pencil touches point B. Step 3 Without changing the width of the compass, place the compass point at point C and make an arc through the line you draw in step 1. And for the last step, label the intersection point D. You have now copied line AB. We can now state that line CD is congruent to line AB. My name is Dan Oliver Elevangelista and I will teach you how to copy an angle. We will be needing a ruler, compass, and ball pen. We draw a line segment, labeling its left end point as E. Place the compass point at B. Open the compass wide enough so that you can make an arc that intersects angle A, B, C on both rays. Without changing the size of the compass, place the compass point at E. Then draw a generous sized arc. Go back to angle A, B, C and place the compass point and the pencil at the locations where the arc intersected the rays. Without changing the width of the compass, place the compass point at F and draw an arc that intersects the arc you drew in step 3. Using a straight edge, draw a ray from point E through point D. Label the rays D and F. We have now copied angle ABC. So now, let's move on to another activity. Now we have activity 3. How to construct an angle bisector. So let us have an example. So given any angle, so let us have angle A, B, C. So we have here a compass. So this is our center point and this is our pencil point. So yung center point po natin, ilalagay po natin sa vertex ng angle. So which is itong V. So, ilalagay po natin yung center point dito sa vertex. And, and then, nasa inyo po kung gaano kalaki yung radius. So, dapat make sure nyo po na hindi gumagalaw yung center point para makagawa po tayo ng arc. So, gagawa po tayo ng arc. Ilalagay po natin dito ulit. Ilalagay po natin yung 
Ulit, ilalagay po natin yung center point dito sa vertex at gagawa po tayo ng arc. Nasa inyo naman po yung radius kung gaano kalaki. So, yan. Gagawa po tayo ng arc. So, now, nakagawa na po tayo ng arc. Ang gagawin naman po natin ay lalagyan po natin ng point dito. Dito, tsaka dito. So, here we go. So, ngayon, kukunin po natin ulit yung compass natin at ilalagay po natin yung center point dito sa interior ng angle. Nasa inyo na rin po kung gaano kalaki. Basta wag nyo po baguhin yung radius o distance ng center point at pencil point para magkapareha po sila ng sukat. Sige. Yan. So, yan. Huwag po natin ulit babaguhin. Ilagay naman po natin yung, yung center point dito sa isang point. So, now, nakaform na po tayo ng intersection. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is i-coconnect natin itong intersection ng dalawang arc natin doon sa ating vertex. At huwag po natin kalimutan na maglagay ng arrow dahil ito po ay, is, ay ang ray. So, let us name this point as point D. So, the ray BD is the angle bisector of angle ABC. And angle ABD is congruent to angle DBC. Thank you. A straight edge. Activity 4. Perpendicular bisector of a segment. Step 1. Draw an arc. Place the compass at A. Use a compass setting that is greater than half the length of line AB. Draw an arc. Step 2. Draw a second arc. Keep the same compass setting. Place the compass at B. Draw an arc. It should intersect the other arc at two points. Step 3. Bisect segment. Draw a segment through the two points of intersection. This segment bisects line AB as E, the midpoint of AB. For the complete following, we'll answer the number 1. 1. Blank bisect line AB as E. 2. For the number 1, the answer is line CD. 2. Blank is the midpoint of AB. And the answer is the midpoint of line AB is E. For the number 3 is AE is congruent to line EB. Let's have activity number 5. How to construct a line perpendicular to a given line through a given point on the line. A line said to be perpendicular to another line if the two lines intersect at the right angle. The given is point P on the line MN. So, we are asked to construct a line MN at P. How we are going to form a line perpendicular to a given line to a given point. Step 
is prepare the compass. With P is the center and with N radius, draw a two arcs cutting line M, N at Q and R. Remember that the radius you used in the other side, you should be used also in the other side. Second step, with Q as center and radius of more than half of MN, draw an arc above line MN. And remember, don't change the radius. In step number three, with R as center, the same radius, draw an arc intersecting the previous one. We now have the point of intersection at O. Then the next step is we are going to connect the intersection we made to the point given in the line. In the given illustration or construction, we conclude that the line PO is perpendicular to the line MN at point P. And now we're here in activity 6, how to construct a line perpendicular to a given line through a given external point. And now we have here an example, line AB and P outside of line AB. Okay, so with P as center and with a radius that can reach the given line, draw an arc. Okay, so now, with C as center, and with the radius more than half of CD. Okay, next, with D as center, and with the same radius CE, draw an arc below AB. And now, nakaform na po tayo ng intersection. At i-coconnect na po natin yung line PR. At huwag po natin kalimutan yung arrow. So, line PR is perpendicular to line AB. Thank you. And for activity 7, I will teach you how to construct a line parallel to a given line through an external point. We will be needing a ruler, compass, and ball pen. Start by drawing line AP. With A as center and with any convenient radius, draw an arc cutting line PA at Y and line AB at X. With P as center and with same radius as AY, draw an arc intersecting line PA at Z. Set the compass point at X and compass pencil at Y to measure XY. Cut an arc. Using the same radius as XY and Z as center, draw an arc cutting the other arc at Q. We end by drawing line PQ.
we will now label x, y, z, and q. Line AD is now parallel to line PQ. Once again, classmates, thank you for listening to our presentation. Hope you learned a lot in our demonstration. Kamsam nida!